Microsoft seems to be a very interesting cooperation. They have this Windows software that going back and forth, never working properly. And um, now they think that they have a great, uh, you know, project. They make billions of dollars and they're rich and now they come talking crazy. Um, Bill Gates recently was saying that he wants to fight hurricanes. And what he's going to do is put some barges out into the ocean that will cool down the wind and take the energy out so that it doesn't have the force it needs to develop into this uh, Category 5 and do the devastation that uh, uh, Katrina and others have done. But where are you going to put it in the ocean? How are you going to know the path of the hurricane? Suppose now things change. Uh, I mean, how much would it take? Would it take that you to put the whole size of America out there? Uh, is it possible? What happened with shipping? I mean, there's so many other variables, but these guys are so fictitious that it, that's what he's thinking. Now, his, he has a partner now who is another big big billionaire. His name is Nathan Meyerhoff. He's come to another wacky idea. He thinks that we should pump uh, sulfur dioxide up into the atmosphere and to reflect the um, the the energy from the sun so that uh, the planet will be cool. Now again this is another weird idea because we know in the past when we had acid rain it was that carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, sulfuric dioxide and other of these oxides were mixing with the rain and, and turn into acid and changing the pH level of the streams and so forth and killed a lot of amphibians, uh, plants, damaged your acids etc. So he might be a good guy, but that's the wacky idea he's coming up with. It's kind of strange. Now, as a teacher, I think that I've seen, been saying a long time ago that our education is going to put us into some serious problems. So we have Bill Gates, who didn't finish college and talking crazy. Now we have this guy. He was in college at about 14, got a PhD uh, um, at 23, and he was doing two courses, physics and something else at the same time. So again, how can you do that? Maybe he did high school and, and, and college together. But yes, he has all these um, patents and inventions or whatever, but I don't think that you need to trust these guys here because when you put, uh, we don't know what something is going to do. You might try to solve one problem and create other problems, just like medicine. Here is a problem, you give this drug and it creates a side effect. It kills the liver, it kills the kidneys. But I mean, of course, we need to take care of that problem. As humans, we don't have that big experience in that all wrong understanding of things to solve these problems. Now, when God made things, everything worked together. He made women, he made men, and, and how it works, no problem. But when we think that we are so smart and we have